Hi, I'm Amanda and welcome to The Hot Plate. Today we're getting steamy in the kitchen making a stick to rib classic, Shepherd's Pie. I love Shepherd's Pie. Not only is it super simple to make, but it's one of those comforting classics that you just want to have as your go-to during the winter months. Now the other reason that we love it here in our test kitchen is because it is freezer friendly. That's right, once you've made it, you can freeze it and then all you have to do is just bake it and then it'll have a toasty classic any night of the week. And we've got all of the ingredients right here. For our ingredients, we've got some extra virgin olive oil, kosher salt, half a cup of grated sharp cheddar cheese, we've got about a quarter cup here of half and half, some freshly ground black pepper, five Yukon Gold potatoes, four pats of butter, some garlic, a small Spanish onion, one teaspoon of dried thyme, and one tablespoon of dried oregano, a quarter cup of low sodium beef stock. We're gonna be using one pound of ground lamb, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and one carrot and one celery that have already been chopped. Our first step for our shepherd's pie is gonna be getting our potatoes cooking. Now we're using five Yukon Gold potatoes and we are gonna leave the skin on because that's where all of this delicious fiber is. This isn't a healthy shepherd's pie, but at least we know we have some fiber in there. Now we're gonna start by just breaking down our potatoes into six pieces, six even sized pieces. So we'll cut them in half and we'll go ahead and just cut these into thirds. We want to make sure that all of our potatoes are the same size so that they all cook at the same time. So for a smaller potato, we'll just cut it in half. Once we have our potatoes all chopped up, they're going to be going into a pot of cold water, then we'll be bringing them to a boil and boiling them until they're tender when pierced with a sharp paring knife. While our potatoes start cooking, we're gonna move on to our shepherd's pie meat mixture. Now we have most of our ingredients all ready, so all we need to do is slice up our onion and our garlic. We've got our one small Spanish onion, and we'll be using half of it, and we're just gonna cut it into a nice, fine dice. And then coming through and cutting crosswise through the onion to get that nice, beautiful quarter inch dice. Perfect. We'll add this to our mixture of our carrots and our onions. Whoops. And we'll move on to our garlic. Now we're gonna use one clove, you want a nice big clove, because that's gonna be part of what adds all that comforting flavor. Ooh, we've got one very big clove here. Give it a smash. There we go. Remove the peel. And then we're just going to run our knife through it. And back again. Perfect. And this is also going to go into our onion and carrot mixture. So we'll start by preheating our skillet over a low medium heat. And then we'll be adding in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Once that gets nice and hot, in goes our veggie mixture. And we'll just go ahead and saute this until it's softened, which is going to take about eight minutes. Next in goes our ground lamb. And we'll cook this until it browns, which is going to take about eight minutes again. And we're just going to be breaking it up with the side of our wooden spoon. Once our potatoes are tender, all we needed to do was drain them and then put them back in the pot. This is the secret to good mashed potatoes because all of the extra water is being absorbed. We'll add in our butter. We've got four pats here. Room temperature. And we'll add in our half and half. And then just have to season it up with some salt and some freshly ground black pepper. 
Then we just have to grab a mash or a fork and we just have to start mashing until it gets nice and combined. Perfect, once our potatoes are mashed, we're gonna set those aside. We'll go over and grab our skillet of our lamb mixture here, which looks so good. And we will grab our oven safe dish. So into the bottom of this dish goes in all of that yummy meat. Just smooth that out so we have a nice even layer. And then on top of this, we just start adding on our mashed potatoes. All right, now I like to run my fork over the top here, just like this, because this is gonna mean that the top of our potatoes get a really good texture, and it looks really pretty when it comes out of the oven. Perfect. Last step before we pop it into the oven is a sprinkling from some beautiful sharp cheddar cheese. Now we're going to be popping our shepherd's pie into the oven at 350 degrees and baking for about 25 minutes till it's bubbly and the top is golden. Our shepherd's pie is all done and I cannot wait to try this. I'm going to get myself a nice portion here. Oof. Oh yeah. Ah, it looks amazing! Oh my gosh! Woo! Such a mess! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for checking out the hot plate. I'm going to go ahead and tuck into some more of our delicious shepherd's pie. Make sure to check out our website, thehotplate.com, and updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thehotplate.